what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss what to do when an astrologer's prediction goes wrong <laughs> so many people wanting to know what to do should we take the money back or should we kill them or should we rip rip their heads off or what should we do <laughs> If you're new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the like button at the end and keep seeing this to the end and share it with somebody who you know who is angry with some astrology because their predictions have gone wrong all right in kaliyuga it is said in the shrimad bhagavatam manda sumanda matayo <laughs> the intelligence is very less and they are very short lived manda manda means dumb people are dumb dumb doesn't mean they do not know how to solve a mathematical equation dumb simply means that they do not have a spiritual inquisitiveness they do not know the higher purpose the ultimate goal of life that is spiritual upliftment they do not know what will ultimately give them happiness or what will make them fulfilled all right because of that they end up entangling themselves in the mundane materialistic affairs by getting obsessed about them and then later on they suffer that is the dictum of kaliyuga and nobody is an exception to this even astrologers are not an exception to this because sometimes when we go to an astrologer we have this expectation which is not wrong but we have this expectation that he will be able to tell us everything perfectly well it doesn't happen in fact there are no methods to point out dates of events for example if somebody says that i will give you 1 million euros <laughs> tomorrow and can you tell me exactly the day when i will get married the moment when i will put the mangal sutra in the neck of my to be wife can you please tell that to me well i would say what about 1 million if even if you give me a trillion euros i cannot tell you that because i do not know of any such method of course there are methods by which you can say that these periods are very prominent using jaimini's chara dasha system using nimshatri dasha yogini dasha jupiter saturn's double transit conjunctions of planets in transits in the sky and then there is something called as viva saham point and then there is different uh, divisional charts like the navamsha by which you can time down things narrow it down <coughs> and transit of planets over venus like jupiter saturn or rahu or different time periods of planets which are dashas but let me tell you there is no method by which you can time down the day of marriage or there is no method by which you can exactly tell that okay this time you will get a promotion there are time periods by which you can see that the person can have a good time in career good time doesn't mean he will not have challenges it simply means that that is a period when he can have certain rise in his status in his career in his name and fame now how much that will happen that will depend on the chart individually and collectively also depending on the transits etc but just because he is having a good time a probable good time doesn't mean he will get a promotion there it doesn't mean he will have a raise in his status it doesn't mean that again i do not know of any astrological method which tells that is this is the time when you will get a promotion or this is the time you will have a fall in career you can be precise but you cannot be 100% accurate so whenever we go to an astrologer it is best in our interest as a client or as a enthusiast or as a inquisitive person however you want to call yourself that we do not go into obsession with dates because if you approach me for a consultation particularly with dates i am sorry i cannot tell you the date of the marriage and i do not know any other astrologer who knows that because parashara has not defined it because maybe he didn't feel that was necessary again i said you can narrow down events you can narrow down things but you cannot be 100% accurate even doctors do mistake even politicians do mistake even teachers do mistake and when 
they do mistake we do not go and tell them that okay you did this mistake uh, now give my money back oh that is not that is not a very good way of approaching because that doesn't happen with any avenue in this world then why should it happen with astrologers yes for example the other day a person contacted me and he said that the astrologer told him certain things that you can do this you can do that then things didn't happen then what to do he was very angry he said i want to put a case against him i said the the these things only happen when your karma is fixed because to be very frank even that is as for your karma that will you be benefited by going to an astrologer should i repeat <laughs> or is this something controversial no it is not it's direct pure pristine clear karma do you have the karma at that time to be benefited by the advice of an astrologer or any other spiritual personality when i say spirituality i do not mean a uh, pure spirituality here that is timeless that is beyond your karma and your time period your dasha transits divine knowledge like the bhagavad gita and the quran but even if you go to another psyche can ask okay what tarot card reading reading says or anything like that then it is dependent on your karma will you be able to use that advice in a good way if you do not have that karma it doesn't matter you go to anybody you can go to the great kn rao you can go to late bb raman when he was alive or you can go to sanjay rat or to anybody or maybe you can go to parashara <laughs> if you do not have the karma of being benefited by the astrologer you will not be benefited of course that doesn't mean that we keep waiting when the time will come but when such instances happen we should be humble and we should try to accept it as a part of our own karma because that same astrologers other predictions came right and all the other people are very happy why only you are unhappy not because you are wrong not because he is bad because you are not destined to get a good prediction that time and this does not mean that you say to yourself okay nothing can happen this cannot happen that cannot happen no i am not saying that it simply means that sometimes life can throw things at us which are unexpected and things may not work out the way we want it can happen everywhere suppose you take a treatment from a doctor and then suddenly the doctor says that uh, this treatment was wrong from 2 years now we did a wrong treatment and now we have to go back again so then what do you do you do not you do not blast on the doctor in fact you tell them that okay some problem happened that is fine but make sure you do it right now yes in the future so suppose you asked an astrologer for a probable date of marriage and he said maybe by 2015 december you will get married and suppose you didn't get married so instead of calling him and insulting him by telling oh your prediction went wrong or instead of blasting him in facebook in other online forums yahoo groups or youtube or in any other channel what you can simply do is you can give him a call or a mail or a message and ask him that sir this is what you predicted with due respect that didn't happen so can you tell me which is the next time period that it can happen that is what i tell my clients who ever approach me for consultation do not think that what i am saying will be true these are probable periods because we are not the rishi that we will give you the perfect accurate exact prediction that cannot happen at least i am not at that level and i don't know if anybody in kaliyuga is at that level unless you are a incarnation of vishnu himself <laughs> like kapil muni or rishabh dev or vyas dev maybe then you are but i don't think that's possible in kaliyuga so be realistic when you go to an astrologer be realistic with your approach and try to see the broad picture rather than going into the nitpicky details okay when this will happen that will happen i am not saying do not ask those questions but i am saying details are very difficult to be said in kaliyuga the astrologer is not mercury the astrologer is actually jupiter which means to tell that jupiter means the broad picture mercury represents all the details all right 
So the astrologer should be able to point out the broad challenges, the broad difficulties that you will face in uh, your life in certain areas and that which will give you fulfillment, that which will give you happiness, that which will give you rise in your life monetary or spiritually. Those are the broad areas which he should be able to shine his grace on and if he's not able to do that also well then maybe there's some problem with the astrologer but if he gives you a broad picture at all broad picture doesn't mean he says okay now you go to america you will be successful <laughs> that doesn't mean broad picture but he may say that okay these these domains you can work these these areas you can work wherever you find these opportunities you can work because it can be a whole lot of things and we in kaliuga we cannot expect that whatever is told will happen which is true with every other background so my only request to everybody is whenever you go for consultations always keep in mind the broad picture do not focus too much on the small picture on the details do not focus too much on dates because it doesn't work that way neither the astrologer is satisfied Neither is the client who talks with the astrologer is satisfied. Both of them are miserable, I have seen. Because if you are asking the dates, then there is high chance that it will probably not be the accurate date. Okay. And another problem is we keep asking the same question again and again, which may not yield a result because whatever he knew, he has already told. So, whenever predictions go wrong, what we can do is accept it as a part of our karma, number one. And number two, if we have the chance to ask him a forward question, then we can contact him, him or her and ask, okay, sir, this is the time you said, but it didn't happen. So, can you tell me when is the next probable time I can probably get married or will I get married at all or should I get married? <laughs> Because there are combinations in the chart which suggest that some people should not get married. It is not good for you to get married because then your life will be miserable. Alright, so he should be able to tell you the broad picture. Okay, so that is what should be the ideal expectation of being realistic and not being focused on too much on details and things which will anyways happen because even if he tells you the date of the marriage or he doesn't it will, you will get married that way that day itself exactly at that point of time nobody can change that either you know it or you don't you will get married at that time and if you're destined not to get married well it doesn't work that way you will never get married whichever way the astrologer tells or whatever how many of our astrologers tell you you will not simply get married if you are not destined to okay that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments then let me know in the comment section until next time subscribe to it and like this video bye bye see you